Hey guys, I'm Trisha. I am the more elusive half of Grey House Visual, and I am here to talk to you about my ring. What is a ring? <laughs> This is my rig. <laughs> Today you'll notice we are in a much lighter and brighter space. Welcome to my office where editing isn't happening so it doesn't have to be a dark hole. I do more of like the admin bookkeeping side of the business which no one wants to do but someone has to do it so that's where I fit in in this partnership other than second shooting of course. So a few videos ago Graham shared what his rig looks like uh, so you can go and check that one out but today I'm here to talk to you about my rig and little tweaks and differences that make mine different from his even though at their base level they're very similar. So to start out, I will show you the base of the whole rig, which is this handy dandy Lumix Panasonic S5. I really like this camera. It's nice and light, which as you'll notice as I'm going through my rig, for me, weight and ergonomics is like the most important thing because I have a very bad back. So when we built my rig, one of the things we were mostly concerned about was making it ergonomical and as light as possible. So on those long film days, I am as comfortable as possible. I'll move on to this little matte box. I have a love-hate relationship with it. Things I like about it when we're out in the sun and the rain protects the front of my lens, which I appreciate. However, I do have a tendency to kind of leave it like this straight out when I am filming, even after the rain and sun have gone away. And there has been a time or two where I've been so into filming that I have walked into someone and it's quite sharp edges. <laughs> um, there was one point in particular that was on a boat and I hit a bald-headed gentleman's head <laughs> with that. So when it's out like this, it's good for rain and light leaks, and I'm a fan. However, when we go inside, we move it up. And then we still like it, but it's safe for bald heads. Moving on. All right, so next, let's go on to the microphone. Okay, Rode needs to hire someone new to name their stuff. This is so complicated. Okay, this is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So this microphone is a pretty industry standard microphone. Uh, one of the things I really love about it is when you turn your camera on, it turns on. When you turn your camera off, it turns off. So that's one less thing that you have to remember besides everything else you're worried about, so. Plus. Moving on to the side handle here, this is a small rig wooden side handle. At first I was quite skeptical of it because I just felt like it was extra bulk, extra weight. I wasn't too excited to try it. However, after using it at a few weddings, I just found that it made the center of gravity so much better. And the fact that it's a little bit forward from where I would usually hold also helps balance it vertically, perpendicularly. I like it, forks good. I do more stationary shots for our weddings. So usually I'm on a monopod or a tripod and I just find having that extra bit of handle place to grab helps when I'm trying to do like smooth pans. Speaking of small rig, this is my top handle. It is also a small rig handle. Uh, I used to have one without rubber. However, I recently upgraded to this rubber one and I really like it. It just gives that extra grip in the summer when your hands are sweaty, in the rain when your hands are wet, and in the cold when your hands are cold. We like it. It's a good addition. I think at one point I thought I didn't want it and I took it off for one wedding and it was very scary. I kept going to grab my camera and it wasn't there. So it's definitely a beloved part of my rig and I could never go without it. Moving on to the skeleton of my camera, I have this small rig cage here. It is metal. It fits on my camera nicely. Basically, it allows us to have all these gadgets and gears secured on. Without it, we would not have a rig. So very important part of a rig. A recent addition to my rig that Graham made is this V-mount plate. As you will notice, there is no V-mount battery on this plate. I don't like V-mount batteries. 
these. <laughs> they are very heavy. I love the range it gives you. And of course, like it's so nice to not have to worry about changing batteries and like the pros of it, I understand. But for me personally, the extra weight is just not worth it to me. I would rather carry around a few extra batteries in my belt bag and just have them on the ready and save myself from the extra weight. I don't love that it blocks my screen, so I don't really like it. However, Graham keeps it on there just in case, cause like during speeches or ceremony, if I'm on a tripod, I do have the option to throw on a V-mount battery and I wouldn't have that same option if that plate wasn't there. So it lives there, it's empty most of the time, but it also gives me a little balancing point if I'm ever bracing against myself, there's like a nice flat spot there, so like it. On to the top. Attached to the top with, you guessed it, another small rig part is my monitor. This is a small HD five inch monitor. I was very, very nervous about getting a monitor because I was worried that with the larger screen, I was gonna have more guests and other people at weddings looking at my screen and seeing what I was filming and judging me. I was so worried that they were gonna see it and be like, why did we pay these videographers? This stuff looks like crap. Uncle Bob could have filmed this. What are we doing? So I was just, so anxious about that, but finally Graham's like, nope, we're putting it on. And the first wedding, my anxiety was terrible. I was like, I hate this. I never want to do this again. Everyone's looking at my screen. But as I went on with it, my confidence got better. Now I could not imagine having to use the flip out screen on our C cam. We don't have a monitor on it. I had to grab the C cam at one point to film a bride because she went off schedule, totally went rogue and was somewhere I couldn't get my camera off quick enough. So I just grabbed the C-cam and I had to use that little flip screen on there and the quality and the brightness, I was just like totally lost. I was like, I can't believe I shot like this for so many years. So definitely the monitor is a must have for me. Next up is the strap. I don't know, I do like the strap but I also don't. Things that I like about it is I like that it does free my hands if I need to fluff a dress or fix hair or just jump in there to do any anything for the bride or groom or wedding party. It allows me that freedom to kind of like put my camera down and have both my hands. However, I do find that I maybe rely a little bit too much on that and I'm not thinking about you're gonna hear me say this again. I'm not thinking about the weight of my camera and having all of that weight on one shoulder at the end of the day, I feel it. And I also find that it does help give you some stability, but I think I lean into that a little bit too much and it's not always as stable as I think I am when I have the strap on. Haven't really decided, uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on the strap. Last but not least, we have the lens, which is the Sigma Art 24 to 70 F 2.8 lens. Yes, I practiced that. Previous to this last season, I was always on a really fast 50 mil prime, which became my comfort zone and I just knew that lens so well. But Graham had upgraded to this lens and he really loved the freedom it gave him. So he got me one and it took me a couple of weddings to fully figure it out. But now I do really like it and I love the freedom that it gives me. It's easy for me to use. It's not too heavy. It doesn't stick out too far. I'm very technical, but yes, I, it's a good lens. I like it. it. Does the trick. I use it all day long. There is one thing I forgot behind my handy dandy matte box. It is the filters I have on top here. I have two. There is a variable ND filter, which is great for, especially in the Pacific Northwest. Like we're walking, we're under trees, we're out in the sun, the clouds come by. It changes so much just on one day you can have like six different lighting things happen in the matter of five minutes. So very blend D filter, which I love. And then that is stacked with the Promis filter, which Graham has talked about in a previous video that he will also link somewhere in YouTube land. And that's really great. It gives it a really dreamy cinema like quality and we love it. We use it for a lot of our footage. Thanks so much for watching the breakdown of my Panasonic S5 rig. Please let me know if there's any videos you wanna see with just me or Graham and I or whatever proper grammar suits your fancy. <laughs> uh, I will try to be more elusive, less elusive, more or less elusive in the future. 
please hit like and subscribe and all those other YouTube things that I have no idea about. I'm sure there's something about a bell so that you get an alert. Hit that and we will talk again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.